Hey, Fatty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Missy, and I'm back with another mission. That's <laughs> not what I'm supposed to say, but it sounds good. Hey guys, it's Missy, and I'm back with another mission. I think that's gonna be my new intro. <laughs> Today I'm going to be reviewing a local brand called My Natural. It's a hair brand. I use the range only, so this is like one range product review. I am a huge fan of the My Natural range. I've been using it for about two years now since since this curly hair thing has been a thing. I have had the My Natural products. I can even prove it. I have like the oldest, jankiest. Look at this. This is not even the nozzle that goes with it. Um, this is gross. These 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 are all my own products. I repeat purchase the the oil, the moisturizing butter, the leave-in conditioner. Ah, oh, this leave-in conditioner is my favorite. Anyways, let me get straight into the review. My Natural Hair is a natural hair care brand that inspires and empowers naturals to embrace and look after their natural hair. With a range of naturally formulated products, um, informative content and exciting events, you won't be left in the dark. Okay. So in the range, that's like the whole range. A nourishing shampoo, a hydrating conditioner. The hydrating conditioner comes in a small one like this. And it comes in like a big one. Like that. I would make the leave-in, I've always said this since I saw that they came up with a big one. I would make the leave-in conditioner or the curling cream come in the big container because the conditioner gets washed out, you know. So that's that. That's hydrating conditioner and the nourishing shampoo um, for natural and relaxed hair. For my girls who still relax your hair, shout out. Do you, boo? Don't be pressured by the natural society to change the way you are. <laughs> um, actually, interesting fact, I just had my hair straightened for two weeks. Two weeks, that's the longest I've had my hair straightened. I usually do like two or three days. I used the flat iron, I used heat. I didn't return moisture to my hair. Curls are still popping, still voluminous. Voluminous. <laughs> I want you to see my beautiful curls. When I washed my hair after straightening it, and I just deep conditioned overnight, um, so I put the hydration mask in my hair first. And this has coconut, olive oil, jojoba oil, and shea butter. I used that overnight. My hair, honestly, came back to life. It was beautiful after the deep condition. After not being deep, con deep conditioned for like two weeks, I was very, very happy to see like my hair still together i was very scared that my curl wasn't gonna come back guys the shampoo is a shampoo it's very basic i like their shampoo it says it has no sulfates in but it does foam so i don't know how that works it says sodium laurel sarcosinate maybe that's like a a different type of sulfate shampoo and conditioner you just google the prices quickly Bio. I do know that is an extremely, extremely affordable range. I have not been breaking the bank on products. You guys, the only products in this range that are over 100 Rand is the big 500 ml um, leave hydrating conditioner, which is 130 Rand, and then the big a hydration mask which is 250 mils and that's 104 rand but this one is 34 rand and then everything else is like 80 rand 86 rand for the leave-in conditioner um 70 rand for the sh shampoo 75 75 rand for the shampoo and conditioner it's really affordable then i use the leave-in conditioner it comes in a cool pump bottle please make a bigger one my natural why do I like this leave-in? It has so much slip. It's it's not as thick as the butter or the curling cream. The only thing I would want is a bigger container from this. Then I'm going to go on to the curling cream and the moisturizing butter. So the curling cream and the moisturizing butter are very similar. Very like thick. If I put it upside down, it's not falling out. So this is the moisturizing butter. Very buttery. And then the curling cream, you can see, is 
I don't even know if you can see. It's like... I'm making a mess. Take my word for it. The butter is thick. The curling cream is also thick, but not as thick as the butter. The curling cream will have a lot more water in it. And it's a curling enhancing cream with coconut, olive and jojoba oil. The butter has shea butter in it. Obviously it's a butter. Guys, I'm really making a mess. Let me just put this in my hair. Because... My favorite part of this is the strengthening oil and the fragrance in general. They all have like a similar fragrance. I even have the old one when it used to come in like a... They changed it from this to this. I don't know, maybe to secure it more. But they've changed the lid. Love the strengthening oil. It's a very, very uh, runny oil. I, as you saw in the beginning, I don't know if I showed you. It's a runny oil. Very, very like thin like super thin so it just glides onto the hair it's not a thick oil a lightweight oil that's the word i'm looking for it's a lightweight oil sorry so that's the range i love the range those are the products that are in the range oh and the edge gel i use the edge gel on my on my edges let me know what you think about my edges i ran a competition on my instagram follow me on instagram at missy roberts xo and I just wanted to answer a few of the comments that I received. I said that I would answer, so I've picked a few of my favorites. And I'm going to give you my opinion on some of the questions that you, or struggles, the hair struggles that you commented below my post. The most common theme is dryness and breakage. There were very many other concerns in that post, but I'll have to make separate videos for those. So for today, dryness and breakage. So the very, very first thing I've noticed about people is that they completely forget that water is an ingredient that needs to be in your hair. Water is the very first thing that needs to go into your hair, that needs to go into your hair shaft. So that's where cleansing comes in. What happens to your hair over time is that it gets dry because our hair is curly it loses moisture the other thing that happens is we top it up with products and oils and that creates a barrier on our hair even when we relax or straighten our hair that creates a barrier on our hair it closes the cuticle so no moisture is getting in especially when your hair straightened or relaxed you're definitely not wetting your hair so that is the first thing that you need to return to your hair is moisture you need to return moisture to your hair every three to five days so even if you've done a a wash day or if you have a set look it's going to be a bit difficult if your hair straightened obviously um but this I'm talking specifically to natural girls who, who use wash and goes or have their natural hair. You have to wet your hair at least three to five days. You can extend it five days max for me personally. We are all different. We all have a different hair journey. So returning the moisture to your hair. That will be on your wash day, day one of your wash day. That's the day that you're putting water in. You're using a shampoo. Whether you use a co-wash or not, it's up to you. I like to use a shampoo with a little bit of sulfate in because I use three or four products on my hair plus oils plus refreshing it throughout the week that is going to was a build up so if I don't use a shampoo it's not going to get out a lot of the dirt I believe so I like to use a shampoo with sulfate that's why I actually like the the my natural shampoo because it, it cleans the hair nicely without stripping it of moisture um, then we are going to talk about deep conditioning. So my natural has a hydration mask. The hydration mask is going to be the thing that intensely moisturizes your hair. They put butters, oils, coconut oils, olive oils, different oils. Oils have different properties. They are different sizes. They they do different things to your hair. Essentially, what the deep treat the deep conditioning hydration treatment is going to do, what I do, is it may, it it just soaks your hair in water and oil for an extended period of time, softening the proteins, softening your hair, letting water penetrate the hair shaft, and it just gives it like a rich treatment. And you want to you want to deep condition your hair at least once a week. I would even suggest doing it a deep condition twice a week if you can if you're somebody who washes your hair often i know it's winter right now and we're not deep conditioning as often because we are um 
leaving our hair in our protective styles, in our blown out styles. But that's the one reason your hair is breaking, it's because you're not deep conditioning enough. The second reason that dryness and breakage will happen is if you are relaxing your hair, chemically treating your hair, using heat on your hair, or having your hair in a protective style which you are not returning moisture to like I said so if you have braids in your hair if you have plaits in your hair if you have twists in your hair you need to be getting some sort of spray see I put a spray bottle on my leave-in conditioner so that I could just spritz conditioner and water onto my hair when it feels dry someone commented that they feel like they need to walk around with the spray bottle you do need to walk around with the spray bottle and then i'm going to move on to the next step which is moisture retention the reason your hair is not retaining moisture is because it's curly and perhaps you're not sealing your hair sealants are butters or oils coconut oil shea butter oils in general and what an oil does is it acts as a, it acts in the sim, in a similar way to what a silicone acts is it that it coats your hair it's just that because it's a natural it's a natural oil it's not going to sort of create a solid barrier where nothing can penetrate your hair the way a silicone does i'm not mad at silicones though that's a video for another day oils oils and butters gels Gels are another way. I know that some people don't use gel. I use gel because I use butter, oil, leave-in, and then sometimes I will put a gel on top of that. It's not bad because all the stuff is inside underneath the gel. The problem is when you do not wash the gel off and then no more water can go into your hair. Your moisture retention problem comes from not sealing your hair. Another issue that I've heard other bloggers talking about is protein and your hair not having enough protein or having too much protein um one of my fellow natural hair bloggers Sinovuyo, she talks um about it a lot she always does protein treatments and she has type 4 hair so perhaps you're not perhaps you're either lacking in protein or you have too much protein check her out i'll link her down below she speaks a lot about um using protein in your hair i don't really use protein in my hair so perhaps she can tell you a little bit more about that so that's what's going to ensure your hair stays moisturized and soft regular masking or deep conditioning returning moisture to your hair at least once a week um, refreshing your curls adding oils adding in things sealing your hair and oh another thing a step i forgot is your maintenance the way that you maintain your hair the way that you sleep when you shower all those things that you do to your hair after you've styled it is going to play a role in how dry or the condition of your hair on the days after your wash day so for example i used to sleep with my hair in a pineapple but my hair is too long now so i can't do that so i sort of i find a way Sometimes I put it in a, a pineapple, sometimes I don't. But I sleep with a satin pillowcase. So that's the one thing. I sleep with a satin pillowcase, I sleep with a satin bonnet, and I sleep with a satin scarf. The reason satin is so amazing is because cotton dries out the skin, cotton dries out the hair. So if you're sleeping on cotton, it's like eight hours of your hair just being on the pillow, and your skin for that matter, and it it takes out a lot of the moisture in your hair the satin is amazing your hair just glides over it your skin just doesn't get dry um i would suggest a satin bonnet a satin scarf or a satin pillowcase another another thing that i like to do in winter i d this this i'm actually surprised this is air dried um air dried i did not use the diffuser but i generally i i like to use the diffuser because what this diffuser does is it sort of melts it melts everything they say you shouldn't you're not supposed to use a lot of heat in your hair i do it on very low i feel like it melts everything you know when you're it just melts all the oils and the butters and it like seals the hair nicely so that's why i like to use a diffuser i did not use a diffuser today and that's why my hair is slightly a little bit more bigger because the diffuser sort of it it just it it like 
it makes everything go like that <laughs> i don't know how to explain it it's just it's just a lot more defined when i use the the diffuser but i'm not mad at this i do like this thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel you can also find me on my other social media that's at missy roberts xo on twitter and on instagram um yeah please subscribe guys i'm currently at 250 subscribers i'd really like to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year that's my goal for the end of the year so please subscribe share this to any of your friends that you think might like this video and yeah i'll see you in the next one Mwah.